I'm so ready for today. Yo, hey, how's it going? Welcome back or welcome to another episode of what's going on in my life. Well, life, life hits you with a bunch of surprises. You know what I'm saying? I don't have anything to make this a little bit more Halloween-y, but you know what's going on today because we're coming in clutch with our our pushing shirts. I woke up today and I opened my door and I uh, got a little bit of a surprise. Oh yeah, y'all know what's going down. The fall pushing box came. I'm so excited you guys because look, the size difference, I might cry with whatever is in here. Look at how much bigger this one is. Holy crap. <gasps> I love Halloween and this this box is gonna be the highlight of my life. I'm telling you right now, I'm getting hot. We're gonna go in, man. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Fair warning, with whatever's in here, because of how excited I am, I might cry. I won't be embarrassed. I'm just letting you guys know now. Okay, okay, I know you guys are sick of me. Okay, I'm gonna open it now. Oh, I can't, I'm so excited. You guys, it's full of so many cute things. Okay. <laughs> These are like the highlights of my life. Look at that. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh my God. Okay. Fall 2019, you're coming in clutch. All right, where do we start? So I'm gonna start off with the first thing that's on top of here. And I'm gonna read it from the card. This is this mini candy corn plush is exclusive. <gasps> Look at him! Oh my god! Look, candy corn baby! So sharp, so sparkly, and shimmery, and splendid. Oh my god. <laughs> Next item, you guys. I got these a while ago at, from Hot Topic, and they're sticky notes. I'm never gonna use them because of how cute they are. Now, with this next item that I just pulled out. Let's take it out of the package first. <laughs> There's sticky notes. The card says, jot down notes and reminders on this sticky note pad of Bat Pusheen. Look at them, look how old, it's a lot. I'm gonna put this on my office desk. Two really great items so far already. <laughs> <coughs> also, I'm sorry for not filming. I've been sick and I'm finally over my cold. The next item, if this is what it feels like, cause I haven't even read the full card yet. <laughs> Stop, my whole house. <laughs> my whole house is gonna be decked out in Pusheen. I swear, I may never go shopping anywhere else ever again for anything. It's just so cute. Stop. I can't. I don't even want to show this because it's so hilarious. I, my cat is freaking out right now and I understand. <laughs> it's a dustpan. <laughs> brush set will wipe away small messes quickly and is easy to store. I love my life. You know, <laughs> I've never loved it 
more than I've ever loved anything else right now because that's just how wonderful everything is going. Okay, next item. I'm literally, I'm going to use that thing. <gasps> oh, 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 mama. Oh, mama. We're going to have to scoot you up for this one. <gasps> oh, stop it. Oh, yes. As you can see, it's a hoodie. Does it have pockets? No, but that's okay. But look. Look. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you better believe I'm slapping this sucker on. <gasps> oh. It says this character hoodie features Pusheen's ears on the hood and printed back bat wings on the backside. I'll, I'll be right back. Look how cute. I'm never taking this off. <laughs> oh, stop. Let's check the back out. Yay. I usually, I don't own anything purple. This is, I, auntie, another, another huge shout out. Thank you so much. This is amazing. I don't have words. This is by far the best pushing box I've, I've ever had. And this is only the second one I've ever had. Also, I'm not being as exuberant and outgoing and all over the place right now and loud because it's, nighttime and I'm not trying to make my neighbors hate me. Next item. It's the zombie vinyl figure. <gasps> Look at it. Oh my god. Little baby. Look at him. Ah, he's so angry. Such an angry pushing. And again, zombie vinyl pushing. I shall love you from a distance. Never opening this box. Next item. What the heck? How do? What? It says, take your necessities on the go in this drawstring pouch. This pouch opens up flat for easy visibility. This is what it looks like. All little pushing babies on it. It has the drawstrings on the sides. Oh, okay, okay. So it turns into a pouch and then it looks like a fanny pack almost. Cause see, it kinda, I don't understand it, but I want to. It has a pocket. It's gonna take me like five years to figure this thing out. Cause it's got those, those things. I'm not capable of anything. I'm gonna, Put this in here. I'm gonna tie this up and then I'm gonna do you wear it or anything? Oh wait, do you actually? I'm gonna need someone to model this for me because I don't know. I'm guessing. I'm pretty sure this is wrong. That would be cute. I like the concept. For those who don't know me, you know how things are baby proof? There's a lot of things out there that are Anna proof. I just don't know about certain things. But I want to figure this out. Do you just... I'm an idiot. Oh! So I was pulling both of the strings. Here's just the one. I pulled it and it turns into... A pouch. Ooh, so maybe that does mean you can wear it as a backpack, kind of. I figured it out. Look at that. That is cute. I like that. That's really cute. Now that I figured it out, go me. Two more items left. <gasps> mm. I gotta actually take this out of the box, but the box is so cute. It's a candy jar. Let me take this sucker out. Too bad I don't have candy at my house. Cause I hate candy. Look at that. 
it says store candy and everyday essentials in this jar girl you better believe i'm gonna put all of my jewelry in here because i don't have anything for that look at them they're so cute little kitty booties oh oh we failed oh we, we fudged up putting all my babies up there last one oh. i'm gonna lose it oh, oh my god i gotta get hot water a heat changing mug it says bring some magic to your morning when you use this color changing mug for your hot beverage i got hot water yeah i'm not ready pray i don't spill any on me it's hot it's hot <gasps> oh, that's so cute midnight meow jig i cannot believe how adorable this is okay i need to put this hot water down before i like accidentally end myself <sighs> and that is everything in the box oh my gosh this this was the cutest box i have ever gotten and like you know like i said the second box i've ever gotten of pusheen i just love sharing things that make me happy and if you guys can't tell Pusheen is like one of the things that makes me ultimately happy. Speaking about happy, October 10th was mental health awareness and I kind of just wanted to share what's been going on in my mind um, while I've been sick. A little thing about me is that I suffer from anxiety. And with that anxiety, I end up thinking about everything possible. I like everything that's going on in my life all at once. It's so overwhelming and I feel like I'm drowning a lot of the times. With that, my anxiety turns into depression. And with that depression, that turns into insomnia, which I have that part handled very well. I won't get into the gory details, but I will probably share my my truth at a later date when we've gotten a little bit more comfortable. July 23rd, 2017 was the day I realized and my eyes opened that I could actually go get help because I had no idea why I felt the way I did. And I ended up with the help of a friend I ended up admitting myself into the Behavioral Wellness Center for four days and I learned so much and I grew so much from those four days. Life became so overwhelming, I just needed to get rid of my phone, get rid of everything from like the outside world and I I secluded myself, but in a good way. I was surrounded by people who understood what I was going through. Group therapy was absolutely amazing. Having the ability to freely talk and having people actually listen and other people sharing their story similar to yours or completely different, but it's the fact that we're all there for each other and we're all listening. Everybody has a voice and I strongly advise you to use that voice. People will listen. I will listen if you ever need anybody to talk to. I'm here for you, you know, like nobody is ever truly alone. I know that when I talked about my surgery, what I was talking about then is don't rely on other people to come and help you when you are in a time of need in like a physical aspect when you are like incapable of doing anything yourself when it comes to mental illness and you feel like you're on the verge of you can't do this anymore reach out call someone text someone like that one little hey and acknowledgement to that person will help out a lot because the feeling 
of not being relevant to anybody at all. It hurts a lot. I know that feeling and it sucks. Trust me, I know. So if you ever need anybody, you can always message me. You can always call the crisis hotline. There are people out there who do want to help you and it's okay to get help. And since I finally got diagnosed with, you know, anxiety and with the anxiety comes depression, my psychiatrist prescribed me Lexapro. And what that does is it boosts your energy because I always feel like I'm tired. I've never wanted to get out of bed. And that was a sign that that's not normal. I always thought I could have been borderline anemic or something like that. I have low iron levels, I'm always tired, you know, all that stuff. But it was, it was not that whatsoever. And now I know. It also slows down your thinking. Thank God. Because my brain will literally go like a thousand miles an hour. It's horrible. I can't, I can't even help that. I overwhelm myself with that much thinking, but that's what happens. Two things that they advise you, and I strongly, strongly advise you people to listen to this because I didn't, and I was the biggest hypocrite for telling all my friends to not do these things. We've all done it, but I strongly advise you to not do these things. Do not drink alcohol on your medication. If you do, you better baby that one drink because the whole point of antidepressants is your brain is chemically imbalanced and you're trying to balance that sucker out, but you can't do that if you're sucking down alcohol all the time. It's just a big no-no. Trust me, I know I was a freaking idiot and I, I started out with one baby drink and I thought, hey, that's okay. Like, that's all I'll have. No, nope. no, no, no. 2017, Anna got a hold of her because that was when I had a huge binge drinking problem. I drank all, t all the time. I drank all throughout the week. I would wake up, have to go to work and I'm still drunk. No, no, no. So just heed my warning. Don't drink on your medication. If you sit there and ask your doctor, oh, well, will it get me more messed up? They're gonna say, yeah. Yeah, it'll mess you up, not in the good way. Don't be a freaking idiot like me. Strongly advise you not to do that. Second thing, do not take yourself off of your medication unless the doctor tells you to. Don't do it. I ended up getting off of my medication because I couldn't afford it. And now I can. And now I feel normal. Antidepressants literally act just like birth control. It takes an entire month to fully go into effect and have your body adjust to it. You won't see results in like two days or a week. It's literally a process. With my Lexapro, I can't just pop a pill and be like, oh man, I feel so much better. That's not how this works. I set an alarm. I keep myself accountable. Even if you need to get like one of those pill thingies with the days of the week on there, do that. But don't take yourself off your medication. I can't stress that enough. I went crazy last year when I did that. I, it's not okay. You will start feeling way worse than you did before and you will start spiraling down. Then you're gonna wonder why you hate yourself. It's because you're literally putting yourself, like you're not properly weaning yourself off. The doctor needs to help you with that. And with medication, I strongly advise you to go see a therapist. That is, I'm adding that third thing. Talk to a therapist. Therapy may not be for everybody, but it helped me. 
Psychiatrists are just doctors that prescribe you medicine. I strongly, strongly, strongly advise you to try and talk to a therapist. I know it takes a lot. I know it takes a lot to bring yourself to go see a doctor or talk to a therapist. You may think, oh, I already know what my problems are. I already know how this is gonna go. I'm gonna talk to the doctor and tell them about my problems and they're gonna be like, okay, so what are you gonna do about it? No, 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 no. If you have never experienced therapy, you do not know how it's gonna go. Therapy is different for everybody and it makes me mad. It boils, heats my blood when people think they know what therapy is when they don't. You are literally trying to find the source of why it is the way you are because it stems from somewhere. I was 13 years old when I first met depression. 16 years old when I first met anxiety and I never got help for it. I'm gonna talk about that on a later date, but right now, I just want to say, don't be afraid to reach out. Talk about your feelings. If you don't need a therapist, do not, please, 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 don't bottle your feelings up. Don't. It's just gonna get worse. And recently, my friends and I lost a member from our friend group, our family, and I had no idea of any of the issues that were going on. I was not close with this person whatsoever, but I have many fond memories of them in my life. Good memories. And I would not have guessed for a second that they would be gone. So parents, I strongly advise you to talk to your kids. Don't put so much pressure on them. Friends, significant others, be kind to each other. Don't hurt each other, love each other. Because you know what? <laughs> You'll never know if you're gonna see them again. Mental illness it's a serious thing and people don't take it serious people take it lightly it is not something to be taken lightly but one day I do want to share my truth with you guys to show you how I overcame everything in full detail because it's a huge eye-opener getting help talking to somebody reaching out making someone feel relevant because in all when all is said and done, we all just want to be loved and relevant in somebody's life. And when I have my friends t reach out to me and tell me that they're depressed and they're going through a hard time, I listen. I don't sit there and, and, and listen. And when I say listen, I mean I don't sit there and play on my phone. I give them eye contact. I give them undivided attention. If they call me, I FaceTime them or I video chat them on Snapchat, Facebook video. Somebody is reaching out to you for help and they need you and your undivided attention. You may not have anything to say about what they are thinking or what is going on and that's okay. Listen to them. That's all people want. We just wanna be heard. And that's all I wanted to say about mental health awareness. Love each other. Tell somebody that you love them and you admire them. Tell them that you're proud of them. Be grateful. Be thankful for having who you have in your life. Because whether it be them taking their life or whether it be a car accident, or just something happening to where one day they're not they're not in your life anymore. Cherish every moment 
that you have with them. And like talking about this makes me miss my family so much. It makes me want to just get up and move back home. Like I am missing precious times with my nieces and my nephews and being with somebody who loves me and making memories with them. But I'm out here. I have a lot to talk about. There's going to be a lot more serious videos happening. I'm going to mix fun with serious, but in all hindsight, life is not all fun and games, you know? This conversation that we're having right here, this is serious stuff. This is what I think about a lot. And being sick has made me feel vulnerable to depression. And I started feeling useless, worthless, not doing anything. I haven't seen a human being that I don't work with in over a, like a week or it's been a week. I don't know. I just, human contact is something that I strongly need. I need a, a, like a consistent amount of it. And that's just the type of person that I am. Not everybody is like this. I honestly don't know how to end this. Um, but okay. Enough serious talk. I love all of you so much. I really do. I love you guys. I really do. And I hope I was able to help at least one person with this video. Near, far, wherever you are, I believe that the heart will grow up. Okay, I'm so sorry. That song popped in my head after I said that. But yeah, stay strong, everybody. That's the takeaway. That's the takeaway. That's what I want you to get from this. Stay strong. Life is worth living. Find that happiness. Find that peace. Find that love within yourself. Because you know what? If I can do it, so can you. It's not impossible. You just have to want to help yourself. Because if you cannot help yourself, how can you help anybody else? That's all I have for you today. Sorry if it got too serious, but those are just my feelings, my personal feelings on the matter. Be aware, notice red flags. I love you guys. Comment what you thought about this video. Hit the like button if you liked it, okay? And if you want to be notified of any more videos that I post, um, ring that bell, the notification thing about Bobber. And if you're not already, um, subscribe, okay? Because I've got a lot more interesting things I want to talk about. Aside from all the sad stuff, you know, all the nitty gritty and all that stuff. Yeah. Also, I just want to point out how long my hair is getting. Ooh. Virgin hair. This is my natural hair color. Okay, I'm done. Okay. Bye, you guys. I hope you have a fabulous week. Take care of yourselves. Love yourselves. Be happy. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. So long. Farewell. I'll see you guys soon. Bye, yeah.